Hello my dear friends, this is Shoman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. Today our subject is buttering in relation with welding. What is the purpose? What are the techniques of buttering? What are the types of buttering? Let us have a discussion. Buttering and welding is a technique involves depositing a layer of oil metal onto the base metal typically along the edges of surfaces of the joint prior to welding. There are several purposes of buttering, including building up. Buttering is often used to increase the thickness or width of the joint by adding material to the base metal. It creates a wider oil profile, allowing for stronger welds and better fusion between the base metal and filler metal. So in this build up, I can remember some site issues. Let's say I have some fittings, flange, let's say, and pipe. The ID difference, let's say around 10 mm in the diameter. So it will be 5 mm built up is required here to match the root, you know, root oh, one or two mm high low, more than one and two mm high low in the root is not acceptable and it is very inconvenient for the welder and also not acceptable as per standard. So if there is a situation that you cannot change the flange because of the uh, scarcity of the material or maybe you have uh, very less time and you need to uh, put this spool on the, uh, install in the spool on site. So you must use this flange and pipe also you cannot change. So the only option remains here is buttering. Buttering might be you need to qualify a procedure for this, but uh, you can use still use that flange and uh, with some proper guideline, if you build up, uh, this weld will stay longer and you can create a sound weld after building up in the flange. If the flange ID is more, so you need to build up the flange to bring down the ID to an acceptable level. Uh, second purpose of buttering uh, can be repair and restoration. It is employed to repair or restore worn out or damaged parts. By adding materials through buttering, welder can restore the original dimensions of the component and enhance the strength. Another uh, purpose is dissimilar metal joining. When joining dissimilar metals, buttering is used to create a transition layer between the two materials. The intermediate layer uh, minimizes the formation of brittle intermetallic compounds and improves bond between the dissimilar metals. And another purpose of buttering can be stress relief. Buttering can act as a stress relieving technique by applying multiple layers of oil metal. Thermal stress during the welding is distributed more evenly, reducing the risk of cracking and distortion in the final weld. Buttering procedure. In short, if you see, there are three steps. Preparation and the selection of welding process and filler metal and then the deposition of the weld metal. Actually, buttering is kind of deposition only. Preparation uh, can include the cleaning, preheating of the base metal if necessary to ensure proper fusion. Then the selection of welding process, which process you are going to use. Choose the same welding process and filler metal, if available, will be used for the final weld. Then you are ready for deposition. Deposit the weld metal onto the prepared surface using techniques such as welding rods, wire feeders and other welding processes depending on the specific application. The steps I am telling for deposition you can see from this sketch. Let us go in little bit more details in buttering. The built up is a surfacing variation in which surfacing material is deposited to achieve required dimensions. The term built up denotes the addition of oil metal to a base metal surface, the age of a joint or previously deposited oil metal for the restoration of the component to the required dimension. As I told you, flange and pipe diameter ID is not matching. In this case, the strength of the oil metal is a necessary consideration in the component design. The buttering is a surfacing variation used to deposit surfacing material on one or more surfaces to provide compatible weld metal for the subsequent completion of the weld. 
Buttering differs from build-up in that it is used for metallurgical reasons like post-weld heat treatment reduction, lamellar tearing prevention, reheat cracking prevention or dissimilar welding, not dimensional control. Example of a built-up procedure in case of too large fit-up gap of structure. So I told you about a flange and pipe. There is a dimensional difference in the internal diameter. Here you can see uh, some example of structure where uh, we do the built-up to close the gap. So there are limits from the standards you can see 19 mm or 2T maximum. Buttering example one. Buttering is the deposition of a high nickel alloy onto an alloy steel that requires heat treatment and that later will be welded to a steel that does not require heat treatment. We have F22 material where we built up with uh, 625 uh, in colloid material and then we get it welded with X65. This F22 material needs post weld heat treatment whereas uh, the 625 does not and then uh, we are welding um, X65 with 625 finally and we can avoid post weld heat treatment. Example 2. Buttering the surface of the susceptible plate with a low strength weld metal to avoid lamellar tearing or cracking susceptibility. Example 3. Buttering to the weld dissimilar metal by nickel, nickel iron electrode. Welds made with nickel iron alloys are stronger and more ductile than welds made with essentially pure nickel. The strength properties of nickel iron electrode uh, make it suitable for welding ductile ions and high strength gray ions. The types of uh, electrode is also used for dissimilar joints such as cast iron containing chromium welded to carbon steel, stainless steel or nickel base alloys. Some chromium containing alloys may require preparation of the joint by the use of a buttering technique before making the weld. Buttering at carbon steel site is used to avoid the formation of chromium carbides. Buttering versus built up welding. Built up is a surfacing variation in which surfacing material is deposited to achieve required dimensions. The term built up denotes the addition of weld metal to a base metal surface. The age of a joint or previously deposited weld metal for the restoration of the component to the required dimension. In this case, the strength of the weld metal is a necessary consideration in the component design. The buttering is a surfacing variation used to deposit surfacing metal on one or more surfaces to provide compatible weld metal for the subsequent completion of the weld. Buttering, the difference from built up is that it is used for metallurgical reason like post weld heat treatment reduction, lamellar tearing prevention, reheat cracking prevention or dissimilar welding, not dimensional control. So uh, don't confuse buttering and built up. Built up is only for dimensional control, whereas buttering has a different uh, technical purposes, which I just told you. Inside buttering welding, the deposition of low strength weld metal is deposited firstly on the susceptible plate before filling the joint with another electrode. However, before adopting this technique, design calculation should be carried out to ensure that the overall weld strength would be acceptable. Some uh, oil and gas product has allowed using inside buttering for exceed fit up gap, spacing after big block erection, there is no chance of high cost or danger of falling to remove the structure. In this case, the inside buttering is considering as built up welding because only one type of electrode is used for closing the gap. So you can see cladding and buttering.
some welding process ongoing. Cladding and overlay is the same. Cladding is a process that widely known as construction and design, but what is cladding in welding? Cladding in welding simply is the procedure of adding or depositing materials to the workpiece. It is not usual welding where it will just be joined or fused to another metal. It is going to be deposited and added to the exterior of the part or component. Is cladding is the same as overlay? A lot of people have a misconception that clad welding and welding overlay are similar process. While they are closely related, they actually have major differences, especially in how they are done. Weld overlay is a process of developing the properties of the base or parent metal. It aims to integrate the material into the workpiece, not just adding it on as protective coating. You can only perform a weld overlay using weld fusion method, not anything else. Cladding, on the other hand, is a procedure of cladding over a material or workpiece. It is not the process that just integrates into the parent or base metal. Instead, it becomes a protective covering over a certain part or component. With cladding, you can perform either mechanical or welding procedure to apply the clad. They have the same goal, but they are done differently as they yield different results. Hope these ideas are clear on your mind. Cladding, overlay, buttering, and weld deposition. They are basically similar type of process, but the purpose is slightly different so that makes them different uh, stay with me if you like the way of my teaching please don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe my channel sharing will increase awareness increasing awareness is one of the purpose of my uh, educational channel signing off for today showman